the, the necessity of casting for it start to come in when you actually did sort of have some budgetary ideas of what it was likely going to cost? And, and, uh, and other people had expressed some interest in it. Was there a, a, was the, were the producers involved in helping you try and put that cast together? Did that happen more through agencies? How, where, did the, where was the, uh, wh how did that work in your conversation with your producers? Yeah, it was, it was, um, I mean, it was very much, oh, that was always in conversation with the producers and we, and, 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 um, and that was that thing too, where it's like, you know, when they told me early on the fantasy version of the movie, the fantasy version of the movie, uh, you know, starred, uh, uh, Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling and uh, in my mind and we uh, you know we made a sort of we made a play at both of them you know uh, both of those respective teams but didn't get anywhere and um, uh, and so then we started to try to think more realistically and and uh, and so as a result for the intervening five years or so casting went through tons of different permutations um, you know some uh, some what you'd call smaller names, some what you'd call bigger names, like everything, you know, uh, uh, um, um, some that would be ideas that uh, that we'd have. Sometimes it would be an incoming, you know, it'd be someone at an agency had read the script and said, oh, how about so-and-so? And we'd get excited by that if it was someone we liked. And so it was it was a lot of that kind of stuff, but it was always complete, that was always completely in conjunction with the producers. Um, uh, with Whiplash, it was a different situation because uh, there, it was the producer, it was Jason Reitman and, and, and Helen Estabrook, uh, uh, who were two of the producers on the movie, who right at the get-go suggested to me J.K. Simmons for the role, um, uh, for the role of the, the, the teacher, um, and who was not at all the kind of person I'd had in mind. I, I, I had, I'd written that role of this kind of abusive music teacher, very much kind of modeled on a teacher I'd had, and so I, I, I pictured the character as a as a sort of uh, uh, like a like a bigger kind of New Jersey Italian American uh, sort of man, like very red faced and sweating and kind of um, it's true. That's and that and it was like that was very much like the image in my head. And so then suddenly I hear J.K. Simmons, who's definitely not that. And it just at first it was cognitive dissonance. It's like, well, that no, that's no, that's not that's wrong. That's not the character. But I. You know, Jason and Helen made a case for him, and we were get, getting geared up to do this short to do as a kind of uh, a sales tool again. And so I thought, well, you know what? Uh, um, um, geez, I mean, if J.K. would be willing to, you know, an actor of his stature would be willing to do this short, this no money little short that we're just doing as like a, as almost a, a rip reel, um, then yeah, who am I to say no to that? I mean, that would be that would be amazing. And then we'll see. You know, we'll see uh, how he is in the role. And sure enough. You know, he agreed to do the short and 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 kick you know uh, hit it out of the, uh, out of the park and um, did a brilliant job. And I quickly went, you know, my mindset quickly changed to, oh, not only is he right for the role, but I can't do the movie with anyone else. And then, and then the the 180 was that after that, once the short kind of got some traction and we started entertaining finance, you know, trying to get financing set up, then agencies. And, and people who were my producers would be, you know, maybe other producers or people who are out of, out of the loop would be telling me, so who do you actually want to, you know, play, play that role? Because, you know, uh, obviously if you want a real budget to make the movie, it can't be, you, you, you need, you need a, a name who means more to foreign sales than J.K. Simmons does. Um, and I was told that, you know, with J.K. Simmons in the role, uh, we would get a maximum probably of maybe $800,000 budget for the movie. Um, and uh, um, which was, in retrospect, I mean, could have been doable, but that was really tight. Um, uh, and so I was, you know, uh, I wasn't. I was a little disconcerted to hear that because I because <laughs> I really wanted J.K. in the role, but my producers, you know, I talked to Jason and Helen, and and uh, and the other producers were uh, uh, were Jason Blum and 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 his guy Cooper Samuelson. So it was basically Blumhouse and then Reitman's company were the two kind of producing entities, and they all kind of shook hands with each other and with me to just say it will be J.K. And so when they went out to do kind of the official finance meetings, they made that as a part of the, mm -hmm. the that was a no, uh, that was part of the project, you know? It was, that's what the pitch was. It was this script, me directing it, J.K. starring in it, and that was it. Not, those three things were not uh, negotiable, and, um, and a lot of people passed, but we still managed to, you know, just you know, through 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 their enthusiasm and their abilities, uh, we managed to get financing, and we got uh, and we got you know three million dollars to do the movie. That was 
not a lot of money, but a lot more than 800000 And I think a lot of that was really, again, good producing on their end of just making sure that um, remove that as a choice, you know, and just kind of focus in on do you want this or not? <laughs>